Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. Today's date is July 25th, 2023. I'm going to take a quick look at the dollar versus yen. The price of this uh, currency pair moved above the 50% retracement uh, two days ago. I guess that was a Friday's uh, trade. And in trading yesterday, the price traded above and below that 50% uh, retracement level. The level comes in at 141.49. We had the highest price on Friday. In trading yesterday, we traded lower and then back higher, above and below the 50%. And in trading here today, what did we do? We tried to hold support against the 50%, not once, but twice right through here. And each of the time the market moved higher and moved higher, uh, but the high price uh, from today's trade could not get reached the Asian session high from yesterday's trade. And we started to uh, rotate to the downside. We had one more, one, one or two more tries uh, to hold support against the 50% uh, retracement level. And then the last few hours, we've seen a break below. Instead of using it as support, we're using it as resistance. So guess what? 141.149 one is now resistance for the dollar versus yen. In the short term, uh, the bias is turning more to the, a little bit more to the downside. But having said that, there's more work to do, and specifically, the price is moving back down to test the one rising 100-hour moving average. That's a blue line in this chart, and oftentimes the price reacts to that level. We'll see if the uh, price comes down to the sell and finds buyers against the 147.47 level and moving higher. As long as the price can remain above that level, then there's a battle between the 50% and the 100-hour moving average going on. That's a short term. Maybe it happens. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Break below. And we're going to be looking toward this uh, swing area, which includes a 38.2% retracement and other swing highs and lows going back to uh, this period down back through here where we had a number of different uh, swing highs and lows before moving to the downside. Came back up to that level here and here and here and here before breaking to the upside. And then 140.22, 140.45 is that area uh, on the downside. On a break of the 100-hour moving average. But right now, Battle between the 50%, battle between the 100-hour 100, 100 moving average. We'll see how all that, all that pans out in the next uh, hour, two hours, or whatever of trading and going into the new trading day. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.